Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a uh, turbo support bracket on a 1994 Mazda MX-6. I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm doing it on mine. I'm basically going to be replicating this. The purpose of a turbo support bracket is to support the turbo, because the turbo weighs a lot, and hanging it out on the edge of those uh, exhaust pipes, um, when the engine rocks back and forth, it will eventually uh, cause stress points in the pipes to fracture, and then you'll be sad. I have been advised by the previous owner of this uh, turbo kit and other members um, to make a turbo support bracket to hold up uh, so the entire weight of this turbo is not just uh, on the end of the pipes. The style of bracket I'm going to be making today is uh, going to be the same style that originally came with the kit. Unfortunately the welds uh, had broken on this so I'm making my own. Um, this was a single piece welded uh, thing that attached to the starter in these two locations and to the up pipe and the down pipe in uh, that location with a bracket. I'm going to be copying this with two pieces of bar steel uh, that are going to bend and I'm going to put a bolt through both of them which will secure those together. It will be attached to the starter there. It will be a nice little triangle that should be able to help support the weight of the turbo. I'm using a piece of uh, bar steel. Uh, it's decently thick. Um, and it's going to be on edge, so that should be you know, even stronger. I've gone ahead and bent this with just a hammer and my vise. Um, and that's going to be one of the ends that's going to attach to the downpipe, which does have a bracket welded to it already, the downpipe does. Um, that's important, because if you don't have that, there's no point in you making this, because uh, you won't have anything to attach it to. So, yeah, I'm going to do that now. Here you can see this next to the bracket. I'm going to have one, uh, it's going to go like that, and then one's going to come up like that, and uh, they're both going to attach through that hole to the pipe. And then uh, on this side, right about there, I'm going to drill a hole that the starter bolts are going to go through, um, and that should give me some support. Using proper eye protection and a sawzall, uh, we can go ahead and start to cut. go and we have one leg of our bracket cut Here you can see what I've been trying to do uh, basically replicating that bracket with this one um, holes are going to line up and we're going to cut it uh, to be able to put the starter bolts through Cutting the second leg of the bracket now. There's our two brackets uh, to make the one bracket. Now I'm just going to mock it up on the car and uh, drill holes. So it pretty much uh, lined up where I wanted it to. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and grind it down a little bit to make sure it fits better. You also want to make sure you smooth out all those sharp edges you just made.
hope you all can see, but that's where it's going to attach to the starter bolt and to this little L bracket that is on the uh, downpipe itself. There and there. And there's another bolt on the bottom, and we're making the little triangle between those three. Going to trim it and cut it a little bit more now. There you can see the bracket it attaches there and it lines up with that bolt there. We're gonna go ahead and drill the hole and get that sandwiched on there. And then do the same thing with the uh, bottom one. This is the starter bolt out of the car. Um, you're gonna wanna get one that's an eighth of an inch longer so that uh, you don't lose any threads on that. Um, but go ahead and mark your hole and uh, drill it through when you're sure it's in the right spot. So I got the bolt hole through, and you can see where that's going to line up with the hole in that bracket. And then we're just going to um, get the bottom one and uh, be done with it. Time to drill the hole in the second bracket for the starter bolt. Camera died, so I'm using my phone now. Um, but there you go. That's the uh, this bolt through. I'm going to grind down those edges some now to make sure it's not so sharp. Um, then we're going to work on getting the uh, bracket all lined up. I've marked where uh, the hole needs to be to attach it to the downpipe. And um, I'm going to go ahead and drill that hole now. The hole in the bracket has been drilled. So you can see I put the bolt through. And that slides on there. And I don't know if you all can see this, but the hole will line up perfectly. Um, with that starter hole and then we're going to do the same thing I did here with the bottom bracket. There's the top turbo bracket bolted in. So here you can see I've got the top and the bottom of this in place. Um, that bolt is not sucked up right there but when it does it should pull everything tight. I'm going to take these out and paint them um, so that it doesn't rust because this is just mild steel. But um, Basically that's the turbo support bracket. It's gonna work just like the one that came off it, so I don't wanna hear any crap about it. But, um, yeah, there you go, I'm pretty proud of that. While painting my brackets, my spray paint can exploded. And it's spraying spray paint everywhere. It's like a geyser of spray paint. So you can see the beautiful brackets. Ooh paint going all over everything there. With the turbo bracket finally painted, um, I'm going to go ahead and install it where it's going to end up going. Alright, so that's one bracket on. So here's the finished turbo bracket. Down there the bolts are all tightened up and it's going to support the turbo nicely. Let's see if I can get you guys a shot of that from underneath. Beautiful blue. Oh. 
All right, well, this has been how to install a uh, install and make a turbo bracket on a 1994 Mazda MX-6. Let's hope uh, that this does me well for quite a while.